In this video, let's discuss what is a scan flop. We know that most of the designs can operate in the functional mode, which is the regular operation of the chip, as well as a scan mode or test mode, which is specifically meant to test the chip post silicon. So if we want to have scan or test capabilities in our design, then we need to use scan flops, which look like this instead of regular flops which look like this. In regular flops we have one D pin and one Q pin but in case of a scan flop we will have two additional pins as seen here which is the scan in pin and the scan enable pin and so scan flop will be bigger than a regular flop. In case of a regular flop when the clock edge comes D goes to Q but in case of a scannable or testable design we will have a scan enable signal in our design when this signal is zero, we will be operating in the normal functional mode. But when this signal is one, we will be operating in the scan mode. So when scan enable is zero, it will be a regular operation where D goes to Q on the active clock edge. But when scan enable is one, the test signal or test pattern which we send in through the scan in pin will go to Q. So that's the difference between a regular flop and a scan flop where we have an additional MUX and some extra input pins.